Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 47 of Sold with Updike Pew. I'm Jeff Updike. And I'm Weston Pew. We hope that you are someplace cool um, because it looks like it's supposed to be 100 for the rest of the week. Yeah, yeah we're finally hitting the triple digit mark here. Thank goodness it is not June when we're experiencing this. Yeah, so, that's true. Um, we'll, you sit back. We've got four cool homes for you to for you for us to tell you about and uh, i think the first one is going to be 3352 Walter court yep uh, this is a, a a home in the the courts of chapel down development and this is a new development mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, between walnut hill and royal lane uh, just off of webb chapel and it's brand new streets you'll see on uh, here that we've had to actually gps this to, to a different house number on chapel downs drive but it is right there, and uh, it's uh, going to be 12 homes in a gated community. Correct. These are all really, uh, really cool modern design homes. Uh, this neighborhood is super convenient to anything. You can get to Interstate 35 or 635 uh, with all the express lanes that are out there now. You know, you can be at the airport in probably 20 minutes or less. And if you're not from Dallas, this is one of the areas of Dallas that is really beginning to see a lot of gentrifications happening. So we're seeing people that are doing these infill products. And then you're also getting um, people that do really strong flips in this area. So we've got investors that are interested in this property. We've got those that want to make it their uh, rental. And then also people that just want to call it home. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, this is a, a really, the one home that we're going to talk about today is uh, a three bedroom, three and a half bath, two car garage, a little over 3,000 square feet, and uh, really uh, cool architecture on these. These uh, were built by Classic Urban Homes, and uh, as we mentioned, it's going to be a, a private little uh, community there with really low HOA fees, uh, super energy efficiency, right. energy efficient build on these, and just some really great floor plans. So the way that they've um, put this together is you have the garage in the front, and then what happens is is that it's fenced, also on this little property, and it creates a zero lot line. Um, low impact, easy to maintain um, courtyard around the house. And when you walk into the home, they've done an excellent job of really using vertical height as well. So the house doesn't feel like it's sitting on your head. Mm -hmm. um, and because of all of the um, extra that they put behind the walls, the energy efficiency of these homes is just amazing. Mm -hmm. These have 17 sear uh, air conditioning systems with 95% efficiency, uh, uh, low E energy efficient windows. Uh, they uh, uh, are a, a certified green Texas built home. So you get, a, you know, a lot of people uh, are now becoming uh, much more comfortable with paying more for modern construction. And I don't mean by style, but I mean more right. recent construction because they know that the operating costs of that house over a five year or a 10 year period are gonna be so much lower than a 1950s construction. Absolutely, and they've done a great job of incorporating sliding doors, both from the master and off of the kitchen that open up into the courtyard. And the great thing about the size of this and probably most of the courtyards is that you're going to have enough space if you wanted to put a pool. Mm -hmm. So if you're downsizing from the suburbs, but you still wanna have a little bit of private space um, to have a dipping pool or whatnot, this is a really great option for it. Master is down mm -hmm. and bedrooms two and three and a small loft space are upstairs. Mm -hmm. And the, um, they have the uh, wide plank flooring in them so they've got a real clean feel to mm -hmm. them. Uh, the, the bathrooms are done beautifully with a, a lot of solid surfaces. Uh, I don't think there's not any carpet in these really I even upstairs so. I don't believe so. Um, really super clean lines, uh, double vanity in the master. You'll see um, as, as one of the things that they're doing is they're putting the, the wet area in one complete space. Right. And you know, that's kind of a trend that comes and goes and comes and goes, but it's here. Uh, it's here. And you know, it, it's, it's never really become unpopular. It's just that builders seem to do it and then don't do it for a while. And last but not least, the closet space is also great. So if you are downsizing or if you're looking to get into a bigger home, you will not be disappointed with the closet space in this master. Yep. And this is, uh, again, 3352 Walchard Court, uh, priced at 749000 That brings it in about $243 a square foot. Uh, really a, a great, great value. Um, and we wanted to say thank you to uh, Catherine Neesman for letting us talk about her home today. Great neighborhood. So if you want to see that, let us know. Mm -hmm. And we're going to move over to East Dallas, and we're going to get a little um, further down on the other side of the lake. And this is going to be 10515 
Sinclair Avenue. And um, when we uh, saw this online, reached out immediately and thought this would be a great house for the show. It has a lot of great looks. Mm -hmm. Before I get into that, we'll go ahead and tell you about the area. Yeah. Um, it's a quick commute over. You can grab, jump onto PV and then up, jump on Northwest Highway or Buckner and get from the, um, the west side of a lake. Mm -hmm. um, you can also follow up uh, 30 and come up that direction mm -hmm. if you'd like to as well. Garland Road, Highway 78, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Depends on how long you've lived here. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing too is this is a great uh, feeder neighborhood into um, anything in the park cities and also downtown. Mm -hmm. And that would include Uptown, which is between the two. Yep. And this is a three bedroom, two bath, a little over 2,000 square feet built in 1959. Um, has had a tremendous amount of work mm -hmm. done to it. I mean, the moment you step out of the car and, and look at the home, you can tell that, that you know, stem to stern, there's been work that's been done on it. Uh, roof is only a couple of years old on this. Uh, it's had um, electrical updating done. Uh, the, uh, uh, I think the plumbing the, also. Yeah, the plumbing uh, with the, uh, I believe that one's got the tankless hot water heater. It does have tankless hot water heater. Yeah. So it's a really just got a lot of the core things that have been taken care of. So they've gone through and replaced the windows as well. And one of the front windows is placed perfectly because from the living room and from the front formal or a front living room, you can actually look into out and see that the other side of the street is just a, a creek. So you have a lot of great privacy as well. On the inside of the home, they've done things that you wouldn't expect in a 2000 square foot home. Like they've created a wet bar with fridge mm -hmm. and sink that's wonderful. The selects that they've used in here, that is a really beautiful indigo blue ceramic tile on the back. Um, in the kitchen, well done. And then the kitchen island right there is large enough that it can seat four. Mm -hmm. Now they didn't skimp also on storage because there's great closet space in here. And there's also the wood burning fireplace that they've retained. Mm -hmm. So they really did a great job of keeping that living space very, very functional. I wish that we had a picture because the actual um, uh, pocket door to the pantry mm -hmm. is really interesting in that it also, I believe, is frosted glass. Mm -hmm. So they've done just really extra a of, things. A lot of those really nice little design things that, that make a property stand out from other renovation properties. Yep. And we've already sent this to several of our clients because we know that this is a really great home and should be off the market pretty quickly. Yeah. It's all custom cabinetry in the kitchen, all hidden hinges. Right. Uh, the island, is, island was custom built to go right there. And as you said, you know, seats four people comfortably. Right. And that is, uh, that takes a pretty substantial island to be able to do that. They've also done, uh, they didn't lose any of the steam when they went into the uh, master as well. So a really good job with the master closet. It is a place where somebody looks like they could actually just truly enjoy. And then the master bathroom. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that the master bathroom, they went with the black. So they went with black faucets in the shower, black trim on the handles, and then again, black or darker light fixtures as well in the, the master. Yeah, and the, it's a double walk-in shower. So um, you've got uh, you know, a shower head there on each end. You've got double, uh, double uh, sinks with vanity. Uh, you know, a lot of these uh, 1950s construction homes struggle with having enough space for mm -hmm. um, two people to get ready. And then this one, they really have taken advantage of every square inch, I think. And it's not often, again, to be uh, to find a home that has this level of fit and finish in a 2,000 square foot mm -hmm. home, because typically we can find this, but we're looking at 3,000 even up above that, or we're looking at really high end single condos. But this right here, this is one of those homes that just hits all the bells and whistles. And even the hall bath in this has been done very nicely with uh, tiled marble mosaic, white subway tile in the tub surround. Uh, it just you know, again, really polished and a lot of the details taken care of so yep and this one comes in at three hundred and twenty nine thousand five hundred and twenty five hundred twenty nine it's not that cheap yeah, sorry it's a three bedroom <laughs> two bath two car garage it's 2012 square feet 1959 was when it was built and that comes in at 262 a square foot and we want to say thank you so much to shelly seltzer for letting us host or uh, highlight this home uh, the next home that we want to go over to is not very far from the Sinclair home, uh, same neighborhood, and it's at uh, 9036 West Briar Drive. And I, I say same neighborhood, and I don't really mean that. It is geographically very yeah. close. But uh, this is a neighborhood that, that when we were driving through, you know, I, I don't think either one of us had really spent a lot of time there. 
and it has really some fantastic homes. So this is one of those neighborhoods that backs up to Little Forest Hills. It's got Casa Linda also in that general area. And it's just a pocket neighborhood that I think that the people in that area already know about it. Because as we were driving around, we saw how big some of the lots were around there. And then we also saw what looked like three houses on this street alone mm -hmm. that were actually going through either renovation for sale or someone had already purchased an original condition home and was making it their own. So the neighborhood is quite um, catching on and is a really good gym in the East Dallas area. Yep. And this one's been done very nicely. Uh, again, you, your drive up on it's magnificent with the, the really big uh, pecan trees in the front yard. It has been landscaped beautifully. So your curb appeal on this is just absolutely amazing. And the, a lot of times when we get into some of these homes that are built in the 1960s, it gets a little choppy on the inside. And this one has a really great flow for what a lot of the buyers want today. Um, you enter in and it's got a living room area right there. It's nice and bright. Again, the big windows that they have help with that. Um, this one, also they've done some renovation work in the kitchen and what they have created as an eat-in mm -hmm. kitchen area. Mm -hmm. And it's really large. And one of the things that we thought was so great about this is because we all know that so many people, when we have them over for dinner, everybody always congregates in the kitchen. This is one of those properties that would allow you to actually have everybody seated and enjoying and it wouldn't be like you're clustered around a small area yeah and this you know one of the things that i think i liked about this home is that that trend to be you know have every wall opened up and yep. and wide is really big in the market right now but this one has retained the the separation of those rooms but it's done it really well where you don't feel closed in and i think a lot that's what a lot of people are trying to do is get away from that closed in feeling but the the size of these rooms uh the fact that it'll accommodate that big of a dining table um, and uh, you know, give you that living space, but still have the privacy is really great. And one of the things that I absolutely loved about the house is that that dining room table that we were just looking at, that was actually built on site in um, a shop that is attached to the garage. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that there was this uh, shop that was attached and I opened it up, I thought if it had an air conditioner and a little fridge, <laughs> I would never leave. It was that good. Yeah. Um, really uh, nice hardwood floors throughout the rest of the house. Uh, the, it is a, a very traditional floor plan with uh, three bedrooms that are off to the uh, kind of the eastern side mm -hmm. of the house down the hallway. Really big, bright, open. Um, you can see that this is the master bedroom. You see into the, uh, the master bath there that it's had quite a bit of updating done mm -hmm. to it. And is really, it's a move-in ready home. It absolutely is a move-in ready. And the great thing about this one too, is that with a lot that has this much green space in the backyard, if you wanted to have a pool, mm -hmm. this was a definite candidate for being able to install one at a later date. Yeah, and, and uh, as Weston mentioned, there is a, uh, you can see it right there through those windows is an attached uh, a workshop, mm -hmm. artist studio, that's actually built onto the home and it's a great space. It is, if you needed to do some ceramics in there, this would be the place to do it. Yep, and this uh, home on West Rider is priced at $370,000. Uh, that brings it in about $216 a square foot, which is really a great value being uh, in that neighborhood. Yep, and we and wanna say thank you so much to Rob Strickle for letting us highlight your home. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. So last house that we have, so we're gonna truck on over um, over to Oak Cliff. Mm -hmm. um, and we know this street quite well. We've had a couple of transactions on it. Um, and this is 2026 Cloudcroft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is uh, in a, a really great neighborhood called Druid Hills. Mm -hmm. And Druid Hills is very, very close to Keast Park. Uh, Keast Park is one of those really great city parks. It's a, uh, Keast Park's 240 something acres of land uh, that uh, was established back in the 1930s. And it has hosted everything from fireworks displays to, I mean, it's baseball, softball tournaments. And it's just a, it's a great gem in the city. And the other thing too about this is if you're not familiar with Dallas, the Clyde Warren Park um, is actually over Woodall Rogers, but it was such a hit that they're actually bringing on the second one of those. And this will be just up 35. And so you will be in the proximity to be able mm -hmm. to enjoy this as well. Yeah, and this is a, also very close to Dallas Executive Airport, right. which uh, you know is the old Redbird Airport, but it's still a municipal airport, a lot of uh, small private planes that come into it. So if, uh, and, and there are a lot of uh, uh, 
private plane lessons that go out of that airport as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, it's a very uh, very easy place for you to go. Absolutely. And this is a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. It comes in at 1666 square feet. It is on a, a little bit of a larger lot where it comes in at almost 0.3 of an acre. And you'll really see that later on in the backyard. But this is an easy floor plan. It has been really, I feel like all surfaces and all walls have been touched in this mm -hmm. one. Um, the way that it's laid out is super conducive to what today's buyers are looking for, whether it's a little bit of a front porch right there to be able to see the neighbors in the evenings, mm -hmm. um, or as you transition into the house, it has a really good feel for that first room that you walk into. Yeah, wood, hardwood floors uh, pretty much throughout this home. Uh, as Weston said, every wall has been touched, everything's been painted, the kitchen has been completely updated yeah. on it. Um, great floor plan because you do walk into that really large living area and then you just kind of step beyond that to a really nice dining area uh, that is directly open to the kitchen. And what they did with the kitchen that I really like is they didn't, they actually increased the space. So if you look to the left on that picture, the space from that bar to the cooktop is actually probably closer to three and a half, almost four feet. So it is truly a two person kitchen that can work maybe even three. And the way that the um, bar is situated, it can either be an eat in bar or it's a great way to work with your guests and set things up, whether it's a bar or whether you're just hosting a dinner. Now behind that door on to the left of the fridge, that is a large, it could be a, um, it's a, the utility room, but mm -hmm. it could be a mud room or mm -hmm. it could be a great way for you to create an indoor outdoor space for pets that were able just to stay in one area during the house when you're away. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of those homes down there that don't have that kind of dedicated space to no. the laundry room or, I mean, it's big enough. You could make a, you could have a small office out there. It's just a lot of flexibility with it. Now, one of the things that you'll notice in some of these pictures is that the actually owner has taken and really shown people what they can do with the garage that they don't need to put their cars in. And they have actually taken and given it a, a second life, as you'll call it, um, and it's just for a little bit of a party pad. Mm -hmm. So if this is something that you're interested in, even in your current home, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Equipped with chairs, um, looks Bar. like a six foot <laughs> bean bag. Yeah. It is there for you. This is a great situation. Yeah. Bedrooms have also been done and bathrooms as well. Yeah, and this is a really great value. You know, one of the things that, that really struggles in our market right now is finding, you know, what we call affordable housing. Right. And so anything that's under 300000 that is in this condition is really, it's just very sought after. Right. And uh, this home is priced at two ninety nine nine, dollars uh, and uh, that brings it in about $180 a square foot, which is really just kind of a fantastic value. And this was actually, I want to thank David Lee on our team for actually uh, letting us talk about your home. Yep, thank so, you, Dave. Well, that wraps up the uh, four homes that we've got. If any of these look like interest or any of the areas look like something that you're interested in, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to get you more information um, on those homes and the ones around it. Yep. So what do we have scheduled for segment two, Jeff? Well, today's segment two, so you'll remember a couple of weeks ago, we talked about chicken coops and there was so much interest in that, that uh, we thought we'd kind of continue down that same vein, but we had some clients that were uh, looking, they were very space conscious. And so Weston started doing some research and, and trying to figure out how to help these people utilize their space better. And he ran across uh, Leroy Henry, with Dora Moss Interiors, Dora Moss Beds. And so, welcome, Leroy. Thanks, appreciate you Glad having me here. on here. Yeah, you're welcome. So tell us a little bit about your company. How, to, how did you get started in, in creating beds? Uh, remodeling, I was asked to build a Murphy bed and really had never done it before and took the, the idea that I was given and ran with it and it turned into a great thing. Uh, one after another after that and soon decided to open the store and mm -hmm. uh, now we're building them all the time. That's great. How, how many beds can you turn out in a, I don't know, in a month? We can do as many as five a week. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Um, and uh, I think we're going to show some, some examples of some of your work. Uh, so tell us a little bit about this bed. Okay. One of my favorites. That's a, it's a kid's bed, it's a twin size, and it folds out horizontally. Um, that's my design, never seen one before, so uh, just wanted to make something fun for the kids. Uh, you can close it up during the day, it, um, 
gives plenty of space in there for playing and toys and um, close it up and you know open it up at night when they're ready to go to bed the outside of this is really interesting that's a, that's a such a, a great design and i would bet that the kids just really fell in love with that yeah i see little kids come in and they're just they're just staring at it and they're mm -hmm. like mom i want that. i want this <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. great and i want one too <laughs> yeah the um so it, you know it seemed to us like this would be something that would be you know super important to people that are in condominiums small houses um, you know people that need the extra guest space uh, what, what, where do you, I guess, where do you see most of your installs? What kind of housing and? Well, guest rooms, uh, offices, rooms in the house that uh, can normally be used for, you know, sitting around. You've got a little seating area with a TV, uh, comfortable place just to hang out and not have a bed taking up the whole room. Mm -hmm. uh, can be an office, can be just the, an extra room for sitting around reading or a TV room and, uh, it's always there, ready to be pulled down when you need it. Yeah, and here's another design that that uh, is this one that we saw in your store. This is in our in our location in McKinney. We're uh, that's a full size. That's the oak, and uh, it's got a three three stage uh, stain on it. So it's three layers of stain on it, wow. and the polyurethane to get that look and that color. And is this going? Would this be like? Or did you custom build this for someone, or is this just kind of one of your stuff? No, that was one of, uh, so, you know, we're asked a lot for modern designs because we've done, you know, everything from rustic to farmhouse. Mm -hmm. And then I just had a lot of uh, people say, you, you need a modern look. So mm -hmm. that was, I researched the modern furniture and, and what was popular, and, and that was my answer to that. That's, it's a super, super great design, and I can see that fitting into a lot of different places. No. Yeah. Um, let's uh, look at the uh, uh, look at the next one that we had. This uh, tell us about this one. Okay, this was uh, this was one of those custom designs where, you know, I'm I'm asked to build something that I've never built before. Mm -hmm. So they wanted a set of bunk beds, and uh, we figured out how to how to make the 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 mechanisms work in in the bunk bed and put it together. That's uh, and it's specific to that family, and we had a, a we don't have the picture on there, I don't think of it, but it's got uh, all the families, businesses that have over the years gone from grandfather to son, to, and so it's all custom painted on the front of it. On the outside, when it yeah. folds up, that's yeah. what you see. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, uh, we'll uh, we'll get that picture and post that on the okay. in the Facebook. Uh, link so people can see that also. Um, so where where are your stores located? We have one in Lubbock, Texas, and that was the original. Mm -hmm. We also have one in McKinney in downtown. Mm -hmm. And um, do, you, do you just split your time back and forth between the two? I do. I do a lot of traveling, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, driving back and forth, and uh, try to stay as long as I can in one, mm -hmm. one spot for a while and yeah. not have to drive too much. <laughs> and uh, where is your store in McKinney? McKinney's on uh, 214 North Kentucky. Uh, right in the historic downtown McKinney. That's almost right on the square. You're yeah. like a half block yeah, off. Yeah, we're right off of the, the square. Yeah, do you all get a lot of foot traffic in there? We do, yeah. It's been a great spot for us. That's good. Yeah, That's good. We, like we That day we were in your store, it was really, it, it was very calming. There was just like, you know, it's kind of a, a sense of, of slowness and it just yeah that, that atmosphere is great there it's a boutique style shopping over there for sure yeah um what other what uh, how did you get into building beds was it i mean did you come from construction or i did dad raised me in construction so i've uh done that my whole life mm -hmm. and in remodels is where you know one bed came up you know and uh, took it from there and it's a really interesting i like building a piece of furniture that looks like a piece of furniture mm -hmm. and people don't know there's a bed in the room there's uh and, and that's the really important part uh weston also found some other styles that we wanted to kind of talk through with you and get your opinion on how yeah. you know how would they how 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 do you do those yeah that that's i can see that already uh having the doors be a part of the the finished look when the bed goes up and you've got like a cabinet look with doors on the sides and it all just works together it's a I can see the how that could go together pretty easy. Does um, and how is the the Murphy bed mechanism? What is what is that made up of? It's a hydraulic mechanism, 
has a adjustability um, to be able to allow a heavier or lighter mattress and, and give the person pulling and opening the bed a little more ease mm -hmm. in opening and closing it. You were uh, uh, pointing something out to us when we were there looking at your beds that, um, you know, one, I think one of the things we asked about was, well, is this cut a safety hazard of some type if a kid were to pull it? No, uh, the kid's bed is designed, you know, at height the, and the weight that they could open it and uh, not have any problem with it. The The bigger beds of fools, the queens, the, the handles are pretty high up and I doubt if if you can't open it, you're, you're not, if, if a kid can reach it, mm -hmm. they probably cannot pull on it because they're pulling down mm -hmm. where an adult is tall enough and they can pull out mm -hmm. like it's supposed to be. And um, when you were talking about the adjustability is the, um, if somebody were to buy one mattress and then, uh, you know, five years from now replace that mattress and, and that was a heavier one, is that something that they could adjust? Yeah, definitely. It's just a matter of a, turning a knob and, uh, and adjusting for the weight. And uh, like that bed right there, you know, it's it, the way it's sitting right there, mm -hmm. the, the weight is adjusted on there where you can pull it out and let go of it and it'll sit just like that hmm. until you have time to pull the, the legs down and then let it float down. So it's just really balanced, it's really balance, well based yeah. on that mechanism. Right. That's right. great. Um, and I think we have one last one to, that we were, uh, that we wanted to look at, or maybe two more, excuse me. This is a, uh, this is kind of a version of the bunk bed that you all did. Yeah, the horizontal, I, I really like the horizontal looks there. Uh, you, you can see where you take up less space in the room and it can double almost as a couch and uh, you can allow for cabinetry around it or even if you didn't have the cabinetry over it, you've got room for decor and really to you know, a, a way to design the space to, to fit your needs. Mm -hmm. And you were uh, you made a, a funny point earlier that was uh, you you always want to know exactly where people are going to put the the bed yes. in. Yes. Yeah. Well, if if we can't get the bed in the room, we're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one of the big questions is okay, where's the room in the house? Is it upstairs, downstairs, and you know, can we fit a mattress through the walkways to get into the bedroom without folding the mattress mm -hmm. because the the bed, the main part of the bed is the size of a mattress and it doesn't bend. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And there was a, the, there was one last that we were going to look at that uh, I thought was a really interesting, uh, and so I'm sorry, there's two more actually. Yeah. This is one with the, the barn door sliders on it that, uh, that yeah. we thought had some interest. So. We've done something similar to this uh, and, uh, you know, just made the, the whole thing look like a barn door with, you know, the clavos in it and give it a real designed look. Mm -hmm. So we've done that too. And those barn doors seem to be in style right now. And yeah, a lot they really of are. properties that are renovated. And yeah. so, um, and this is the last one that I think we were looking at that was pretty, pretty elaborate, I thought. Or maybe it's the books that are throwing me off. Yeah, it's, it's just built in. You've got a, a bed that's either built in a wall or, you know, you've got cabinetry completely covering the wall, which we've done. We've done office, uh, you know, beds also that had, uh, di you know, drawers on the sides, you know, uh, file drawers and then cabinets up, you know, almost to the ceiling. So mm -hmm. that's what, that's what that reminds me of. And so it looks like you can do really whatever size bed people need. I can. And the design is, is totally up to the person. If you like our designs, we have seven designs that we can work off of, or if you can just even give me the look that you're wanting a sketch. We've done that. We've taken a sketch of a piece of furniture, somebody that was pretty good artist, mm -hmm. and uh, we designed the bed based off of that. And um, I, I'm guessing that even if the, you just, they kind of show you pictures of what their room looks like, you're able mm -hmm. to come up with that from a creative yeah, point. Yeah, we can help them with that also. Yeah, there are some of us that have no creativity. Some people, and, so and, it's, and, I, and I'm going to learn some from some people yeah. also. So. <laughs> Very good. Well, Leroy, thank you so much for coming in today. Um, we want to show his contact information. So if you have interest in uh, in having a Murphy bed uh, built for you from, uh, from the ground up and custom design, please reach out to him. There's his phone number and their website. And uh, Leroy, thank you so much for right. coming in today. We really do appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Good to see you. So that is our second segment today. And uh, thank you to Leroy Henry for coming in. We appreciate your time. And um, 
Weston's back. I'm back. <laughs> so if you are looking for one of those Murphy beds, if you've got a condo or a townhome, I was even thinking what it would have been great for my sister if she had had one of these instead of having to do the remodel that she did on the lake house. Mm -hmm. Some really great ideas for um, people here in Dallas. Yep. So we want to say thank you for joining us today and tuning in. We really do appreciate that. Uh, reach out to us on our Facebook page. Uh, you can go out there and watch the show or uh, get lots of information. Our Instagram account is out there also. We uh, usually have that loaded up with pictures of the homes that we have for sale at the moment and just uh, other things that are happening. Our website has got a lot of detailed information about the process of buying and selling a home. Uh, you can go out there and uh, uh, get uh, uh, searches set up and then homeprice.fyi where if you've got a piece of property that you want to value on just go out there put the address in a couple other pieces of info and you'll get a, a value and then last of all the traditional way reach out to us by phone or email our phone number is 214-377-2223 and thank you very much for tuning in with us today and remember we want to be your realtors for life